This is a demonstration of the Yamaha TX802 service mode. And if you have one of these that you've gotten used, which is pretty likely since it was made in 1987, you may want to run it through that diagnostic check. It will check all the switches and circuits and outputs to make sure they're working properly as well as the memory and the display. The first thing you want to do before you get started is run one MIDI cable from the MIDI out to the MIDI in as a loop. To enter service mode, what you want to do is hold down the 8 and 9 and then press the power button. And it will give you a display that's just letting you know that it's in test mode and you'll hit enter and what that will do is it will automatically do a memory check if that succeeds it brings you to this flashing LCD check so it automatically does test one so fast you don't even see it go by unless there's an error now it's on to test two which will stay there indefinitely until you hit enter that brings you to test three and you'll see the the LEDs go by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and they'll flash. That's just making sure the LEDs work properly. Then you hit enter to go to the next test. What that is, is the switch test. So you have to go through one by one and push each switch to make sure it's receiving the proper signal from each button. If you hit the wrong switch by accident, it will give you an error. So don't panic if you hit the wrong button with a clumsy finger. You just want to make sure you hit the right button and it will progress down the keypad. So this one here is the MIDI test. That worked fine because we set up the MIDI cable as a, a loopback test. If you don't have the MIDI cable plugged from the MIDI out to the MIDI in, it's not going to be able to pass that test. It's just going to sit there, which you may not want to bother with. If you advance past that MIDI test, it brings you to this cartridge test. I don't have any cartridges in. If you have one and you want to test that, you can hit enter. If not, you just skip forward here. You can select the test that you want to do actually by doing the plus one or negative one buttons. So if we want to rerun the switch test, the LED test, we can page forward or page back. We're going to skip all these cartridge tests. What those are doing is just testing the read and write of a cartridge that's put in this slot. So we're going to skip all those. Output one test. Um, that's going to test each individual output. Since each of these tone generators has an individual output coming out of the back of the TX802, uh, if you have each one of those running out to a mixer separately, then you'll want to definitely make sure that each output works. So you hit enter it plays that test tone we know that's working another test tone that's the stereo output one channel that's the stereo output the other channel that's the headphone jack, which I have connected right now. That's the other right channel, the headphone jack. That'll play back a scale to make sure that tone generator is working properly. That's another test of the same thing, just a different mode. And what you want to do here is if you hold down enter and hit yes, then that will restore any settings you've changed. So if you went to the utility menu or system setup 
and changed, uh, you know, MIDI receiving, SysX data kind of settings, and you just want to put it back to how it originally came from the factory. That is the mode to do it. So test 56 in its system will blank all that stuff out. The thing with the TX802 is that the patches that originally came on it don't have to be restored. They're all stored in banks A and B of ROM, so they can't ever be wiped out. There's an internal bank that keeps your patches that you change. So what you'd want to do is overwrite all those ideally because all the factory sounds are stored in there no matter what. So to maximize your storage space, you don't need to hold on to those internal patches. They're all just duplicates of what already came on there. We don't want to do this right now because I don't want to erase my settings. So we can just hit plus one and this will be low data. If you have a cartridge with some original programs on there and hold down enter and hit yes, then it will take those and restore the patches. But I don't have a cartridge in and I don't want to do that. So to end the service mode, just hit plus one again and it takes you back to the normal boot screen. And there you are with a hopefully working TX802.